Hey, how's it going? Do you have bad habits? Well, so do I. <laughs> I'm just like you guys, and I couldn't get through them all by myself. So, just like you, I also needed some help. And who better to help than celebrities? Now, here are six, yeah, six uh, celebrities <coughs> impressions that'll help with all of your different bad habits that you have throughout your day. And here's the best video to remind you of that. So, enjoy. Good evening. I have a problem biting your nails. Well, I'm right there with you. I bite my nails all the time. So much so I get down to the cuticle and it burns. It burns. Feels like my hands are on fire. So what I do now to stop the urge from wanting to bite my nails, I'll rub my hands in something smelly, you know, like poop. Go outside, you know, try to find dog poop. Rub it around in my hands. Or I'll go through the cat litter box. I'll rummage through a cat litter box. Find the poop and just break it apart in my hands and smush it all together. Then, throughout the day, I find me this unbelievable urge to want to bite my nails. I look down, my hands covered in poop. So, I don't bite my nails anymore. But now, my nails become incredibly long. It's just as frustrating. You want to learn how to lose weight fast? Here's what you do, okay? Get yourself a fucking pit bull. Ah! Oh, ah, oh, I'm telling you, it's the shit. Get yourself a best friend to go walking around outside with, you know? Someone to go out on hikes with, it's great. And people are always worried, you know, like, oh, we're gonna pit bull, is someone's gonna mess with me? Is someone gonna mess with me? Ah, dude, you could be eating a fucking quinoa salad in a purple dress, you know? In a, in a fucking nail salon, hanging out with the ladies there. Dude, you got your pit bull there right next to you. BAM! No one's fucking with you. No one. I'm telling you. Or whatever, you know. I don't know. Don't listen to me. I'm a fucking moron, but... Or whatever, you know. I don't know. Do whatever you want. Go fuck yourself. <clears throat> hey, Bubbles here. Trying to uh, do my part for the PSA. Uh, you want to uh, have a better memory? Because you're always losing your fucking shit. You know? Uh, I lost my glasses before the film crew fucking came over here. You know? And um, I, I was looking for them and looking for them. And, and I couldn't fucking find them. So and they came over here and we had to do it. Because they were on a fucking dining table. So. What I like to do is get a designated spot for all my shit, you know, uh, you know, uh, uh, one table I have my keys, you know, and, and another table I have my phone, so I never lose my phone, uh, and then, and then, and then a whole other table is where I left my fucking glasses, but I fucking can't remember, you know, where they are, or, or even, I, maybe, I think, maybe Julian came over here, you know, because he was out of fucking Diet Coke. <laughs> Oh, I just I fucking need my glasses. Oh, I can't do this fucking PSA about remembering your shit. If I can't have my fucking glasses, I got the fucking cue cards there to, you know, for me to fucking read along, and I can't read them because I don't have my fucking glasses. Well, you know, I'm, I'm, I guess just do your best. Yo. You wanna learn how to quit smoking? Here's your best bet, yo. Think about all the fat stacks, cash money, dead presidents. You lose every time you buy a pack of smokes. Yeah? Plus, think about it, you want lung cancer, bitch? Everybody I know who has lung cancer is a prick. Mark Wahlberg here, uh, here to teach you how to stop doing drugs. 
You know, anytime that you're in a situation there where someone is offering you drugs, you just say, get out of here. Get out of here. No one needs you. I don't need you in my house. What are you doing here in the first place? Who invited this guy? Who invited the guy with the drugs? Huh? Trying to have a sober party over here. Everyone's always trying to get on the drug train, you know? Not me. Not Mark. I mean, occasionally, sure, yeah, sure. Every once in a while, you know, I'll do, uh, I'll, uh, I'll smoke some pot. That's not a big deal. Pot's not a big deal. Everyone can smoke pot. Pot's, pot's, pot's pot. Pot's pot. You know? That's not, whatever. It's not that big a deal. Let's say you smoke a little pot and, you, and you're drinking, you know, whiskey. I don't know. Out of a mason jar. I mean, who am I? I'm not perfect. I mean, I'm, as cl I'm the closest to perfect. So, there's that. So maybe you want to follow my advice. Heed my warnings. Maybe not doing all the drugs, you know? Like, like if somebody came up to you and was like, hey, would you like to do some heroin? You just say, no, get out of here. I mean, you are more popular with drugs. I'll tell you that much. Yeah, most parties that I go to, if there's no drugs, I just leave, you know? Like, like, like I just, I mean, obviously, I did some cocaine before we started, uh, before we started filming this thing, which is that, we, we, you know, coke is coke. Coke is coke. You know, coke is coke is coke is coke, you know? So I did a line of coke, whatever. I mean, the, the film crew here that was telling me we got to do this uh, anti-drug PSA, they had coke, you know? And then they offered me coke. What am I going to not do coke? What am I going to not do coke? They you have a line of cocaine on the table, on a glass table. I own a glass table. And I was like, yeah, sure. I mean, if you're going to offer me coke, I'll do coke. There's nothing wrong with coke. I mean, coke is coke. Ugh. Um. All right, yeah, don't do drugs. Uh, okay. <laughs> Let me ask you something. Who the fuck do you think you are? The only guy in town with a gun? You guys run numbers and pump dope. You're an old man with a fucked up face that don't realize his glory days are behind him. I ain't fucking working for you. Got it? You got a problem with that? I live at 551 Bunker Hill Street. Stop by anytime. So you got insomnia, huh? Well, let me tell you the best way to get rid of your insomnia. Buy my book on tape. That's right. I myself wrote a book about how to sleep better at night. But my best sell is on my book on tape. I tell you the best possible way to get rid of your insomnia. Number one, just go to sleep. Close your eyes. Close your eyes, count to ten. I help you count to ten. Once your eyes are closed and your headphones are in, you'll hear this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. If you're not asleep by then, I don't know what will put you to sleep. Then I simulate uh, what people sound like during an earthquake. You know, it sounds like an earthquake like this. Ah! And I'm like, oh my god, there's a fucking earthquake! A fucking earthquake going on, you know? There's that. And if that doesn't put you to sleep, I don't know what will, okay? Uh, what else is on my book on tape? Oh, I do sounds from the ocean. Here's me, I'm a wave coming in. Splash. I'm another wave coming in. Splash, I hit the rocks. Oh look, there's a boat coming into harbor. Boo, boo. If you're not asleep by then, I don't know what will put you to sleep. Turn tape over. Thank you guys so much for watching and if you enjoyed this video, uh, please make sure to subscribe 
uh, anywhere the subscribe button is. Also, I have a podcast called the Your First Time Podcast that comes out every Wednesday. You can also find it on iTunes.com. Whatever. You can be, really, this is just how our universe is. You can't, you can't have something without advertising something else. It's just one big long advertisement until you just wish Flanders was dead. Anyway, enjoy it. Subscribe to it. I love you. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Ugh. And I'll see you around next time.